Fuji Pro 400H Professional is now a discontinued film stock that is still widely available and still more affordable than its rival Kodak Portra 400. It is a professional daylight colour negative film which has been redeveloped and enhanced to its current iteration. The latest version has a fourth colour sensitive layer in addition to the conventional three RGB sensitive layers. Ironically, this is the reason why Fuji discontinued this film. The costs of this fourth layer were getting too high. With its higher ISO speed rating of 400, Pro 400H provides reliable reproduction of neutral greys with sharply improved consistency over a wide exposure range from under to over exposures. Fujifilm is synonymous with excellence and reliability and this film stock produce brilliant skin tones with smooth high to the shadows. You can almost feel the details found in fabrics as well as other textures. If you're looking for highly saturated colours and fine grain then this is a colour negative film that you should definitely check out. This film is ideal for a variety of different settings from portraits and wedding photography to commercial and fashion work. What is colour negative film? Prior to the digital era colour negative film was the go-to film stock. Its ease of use and easy processing with C41 chemistry made it the staple for any beginner or professional photographer. Current available colour negative films can range in ISO rating from as slow as the bonkers FPP ISO 1.6 through to as fast as Cinestill 800T or even Portrait 800. Fuji Color Pro was a line of professional color negative films from the Japanese company Fujifilm, introduced in 2004 for weddings, portraits, fashion and commercial photography. It originally comprised of four emulsions, Pro 160S, 160C, 400H, 800Z. All have been discontinued and its main competitor was Kodak Portra. These films offer greater exposure latitude, i.e. if you're not good at getting the exposure spot on, you need not worry, as sometimes even being up to four stops off, you should be fine. What can you use this film for? As it is a fine grain sharp film for daylight or with electric flash, it's well worth shooting portraits as well as general landscapes or candidate images with it. If you enjoy developing at home in your own lab, you can use the universally available C41 chemistry or its equivalent Fujifilm Process CN 16C. Can you shoot Fuji Pro 400H at box speed? Absolutely. This film is made for daylight, natural light, as well as electronic flash shooting. Its much wider exposure latitude gives you the greater flexibility that you'll need. What I really love about this film stock is its ability to render skin tones so well, as well as giving accurate colour saturation in fabrics and objects. Five reasons why you should definitely shoot with this film. Number one, high ISO speed of 400, therefore a higher effective film speed and finer grain allowing you to shoot in many different lighting situations. Number two, wider exposure latitude. Faithful reproduction of neutral greys over a wide exposure range from under to overexposure. Number three, it has excellent skin tone and hue reproduction along with continuously smooth gradation from the highlights to the shadows, reducing or removing any possible washout. Number four, in the shadows to allow rendering of subjects, reliable and consistent color reproduction of scenes under a wide variety of lighting situations. Five, it's cheaper than Portra 400. I have to say that's a little bit baffling for me because they've discontinued this film. So how is it still cheaper than Kodak Portra 400? If you're an economist or you understand how all this stuff works, let me know in the comments below because I'd like to find out why it is still cheaper than Portra 400 why you should not shoot with Fuji Pro 400H. If you're a fan of using flash, there is likely to be an effect on color balance due to a number of different factors. And with film, there isn't the luxury of seeing an instant image, so metering becomes especially important. Shooting shutter speeds slower than 1 60th of a second? Once again, color balance may be impacted, so you'll need to take a meter reading carefully. The other thing to consider will be what type of shutter your camera has. Leaf shutter cameras will hold well, but it's always better to err on the side of precaution and stick it on a tripod and use a shutter release cable. Just be careful when shooting with tungsten lighting, as the film speed will be ISO 100, you'll need to use a Rattan number 80A filter, which will set you back about 60 
£100. What can you take away? This film is surprisingly widely available in medium format, and to a lesser extent on 35mm. Initially, when Fuji announced its discontinuation, the price did go up quite a bit. However, it seems to have made its way back to its original price point of about £50 for a box of 5 rolls. Compared with Portra 400, which is coming in at £72, it's quite a saving for a comparably professional film. As stocks over time will decrease, you might be thinking, do I need to store my film in a fridge? Well, that depends. Temperature and humidity control is the most important key to minimising the change that occurs in the film. Storing any film in the dark under 10 degrees Celsius with a relative humidity of 30 to 50 percent will see the film preserve its image quality almost entirely for more than 20 years. If you keep the film below 25 degrees centigrade with a relative humidity of 30 to 50 percent you will see the film preserve its image quality somewhere between 10 to 20 years which is still pretty significant without having to do very much if you have shot this film remember to put it into film sleeves and store your film in a professional folder do not put the film or negatives in the attic or in the cold where condensation may form Overall, this film is great for anyone looking to jump from 35mm to medium format as it has much more forgiving exposure latitude. Shoot with it while it's still available and cheaper than the alternative Kodak Portra 400. Love shooting film? I would love to hear your thoughts on Fuji Pro 400H. Have you shot with it? What kind of results did you get with it? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, check out my next video and I'll see you on a shoot very soon.